Look at that. So that is a ping bladed iron. It's a ping and it's bladed. It's forged, it's the blueprint. We're gonna start inside. We're just gonna get the numbers out of the way because I pretty much can guess what the numbers will be. And let's get out on that golf course. See if we can shape, move, play with them. I'll be honest with you, I'm very excited about this one. Two more hits and we'll show you the numbers. Initial thoughts down by the ball. Yes, yes and yes. No offset, thin lines, small blade lengths. We'll talk about it more when we get out in the sunlight, but yes. So I'm hitting the seven iron here. One more and then we'll look at these numbers. Yes. Carry averaging 154, 162 tops, 2144, 147's the start. So it really is my 150 to 160 club, exactly where my blades are. Seven iron spinning at 16591 average. Lowest spinning down at 63. Highest spinning at 68. Standard deviation of 152 revs per minute. Tight dispersion, if the strike's in place, then it's tight dispersion short long. Again, everything you want from this kind of club. Launching at 19.5 degrees, peak heighting around 31, highest one at 32s, and then lowest down at 28 on the slight miss hits. That's the numbers out of the way. It's a blade. The lofts feel true. Let's get on the course. I want to see how these feel out there. This is what it's all about. I want to hit these clubs out here, feel them with the ground into greens. Let's see what these pings are all about. 150 yards out the start, downhill, quite a big drop, slightly down breeze. I'm gonna go with the wedge. Beautiful little shape. So slightly curved top line, straight leading edge. Again, that satin, kind of stunning chrome satin finish. Um, that is one good looking wedge. As always with the ping, I like the fact they put the white line up behind something so basic on the bottom. I just like the way it frames up and I feel I can point the face with it. Big wedge for me, but let's give it a go. Oh, that sound is where I want it. That's going to roll down to pin eye nicely. I'll just go a little. I don't know if you're picking it up. Struck that perfect. Yes. You are a ping fan, but you've wanted a true blade. Oh, yes. Right, let's go and see what pings say about these clubs. What's the tech, if any? Again, with a bladed iron, what tech really is there? Let's go and check it out. So as the name suggests, Ping are applying a blueprint approach to these new forged bladed Ping irons. Ping are putting heavy ideas, premise around scoring, every detail from shape to size to lines is all built around what they think makes for their ultimate, if you like, scoring club. So what they mean by that is they're gonna be using their good players eyes kind of listening to what they want and delivering those opinions and feels to try and play into what you feel you might want in this kind of club it's fully forged from 8620 carbon steel we've got a machine tungsten toe weight we've also got some added weight in the heel so they're still trying to work in some kind of moi even though it's a bladed iron ping is saying there are more than 50 steps that go into making this head it's very precise in its design they're saying it's very durable in the 8620 carbon steel as well. They've paid a lot of attention to sound, which definitely I think I'm gonna hear and I am hearing out on the course. Comes in two iron down to nine iron and pitch and wedge. Obviously you get the full color coding like you get with all pings for lies, lofts, shaft options. Also got the align grips on these ones, which I will be honest with you, I'm starting to fall in love with the more I test with the align grips. Maybe I should do a review on them on their own. They're, they're really quite nice in the hands. Basically feels like there's a rib at the back here that makes it sit right in the kind of cup of your fingers and palm in a nice way. And also comes in that Hydra Pearl 2.0 finish as well. As blades go, it's a blueprint. Just shy of pin high, but pretty happy with that approach. I can hit a few chips with this wedge around the green because I do like the shape of it. Mm. 
Yeah. So I've gone to the 7 iron, 160 yardage. It's 157, but it's uphill. It's the same tick boxes. Finish top line with shaved off curves. Small little blade length, which I love. White line up line. That finish is just beautiful looking. And the solid bar in at the back. It's classic blade, but it's got ping written on it. Like down by the ball, that's as good as any club I've ever seen. Literally anything. Again, it's that same feel. It's that same sound, that forged, beautiful, non-pingy sound. I mean, I caught that one. I see the team out there, that kind of slightly toey middle toe. I wouldn't have got that until I looked at that team mark. Off the face, I'd said that felt pretty good. So we're gonna go with two four irons up here. And the four irons, I think I don't want it to be in a four iron because I don't play one. It's a butterfin, long iron. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully difficult as well. Obviously, if you're in the market for this set of irons, you're a four iron player. I mean, there's no offset on that. It's so stunning. I remember wanting a four iron like this back in the day. I mean, I've hit that good and the height is fine. It's going to take two four irons for me to get up here. And again, it's that consistent feeling. It's a good bladed four iron. The rain's come. So it's seven iron on the course to finish. I'm gonna try and move it left to right. The slope's actually gonna try and move it a bit left. So I'm gonna try and hold it with the slope. For me, because I game this kind of club, I feel I can do things with them because they're familiar. And kind of that's what you want, isn't it? If you are this kind of style of player, if you flip back brand, say from tightness to ping or Callaway to ping or ping to tailor-made, whoever it may be, you want that kind of familiar look, feel, to bring out your skill that you know you might be able to produce. And even though this has got ping written on it, and it's a blade, forged blade, I feel like I want to try this sh shot, take it on. And hit it, that's just lovely. I love these, like properly love these. Yeah, a little, a little of the green, a little fade. Love it, hate this. So the Ping Blueprint bladed irons, what an intro into that bladed market from a company that's not known for this, but are certainly bringing out something that I think's as pretty as anything out there. The sound of it is amazing. You gotta go and hit it. It sounds so nice off the face, which then in turn makes you feel like it's just doing what you want it to do. Post comments down below, let me know if it's something you'll test or not. If you're in this kind of market, is it one, or you kind of want to go for those traditional kind of Mizuno, tight list, those kind of more, almost Wilson as well, those more kind of traditional bladed irons. Has to be said, Ping at the moment are just knocking it out of the park. Their equipment is just fantastic. And to be honest with you, this is a yes from me.